The Battle of the Beasts, Boeing Dreamlifter vs. Airbus Beluga XL. Boeing and Airbus have each developed specialized transporter aircraft, the Dreamlifter and Beluga XL, to efficiently move oversized aircraft components worldwide. Both aircraft are based on existing airframes from their respective manufacturers but feature vastly different cargo door designs. While the Beluga XL boasts a larger fuselage volume, the Dreamlifter surpasses it in payload capacity. With millions of parts required for aircraft construction, manufacturers assemble components in different locations globally. Large fuselage sections and wings must be transported between production sites. To meet this demand, Boeing and Airbus modified their commercial aircraft into transporters. Let's dive into the details of these colossal freighters, comparing their designs and functionality. Global Aircraft Assembly Boeing and Airbus source aircraft components from multiple countries. Airbus initially collaborated with various European nations and later expanded its production footprint to North America and China. Similarly, Boeing's supply chain includes major contributions from Italy and Japan, with Dreamliner components assembled in the US. While land and sea transportation are options, air transport is significantly faster. Since these companies specialize in aviation, they developed their own dedicated cargo aircraft. The Boeing Dreamlifter Boeing introduced the Dreamlifter in 2006 to support 787 Dreamliner production. Officially named the Large Cargo Freighter LCF, the aircraft transports oversized sections, including wings manufactured by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in Nagoya, Japan, and fuselage parts built across Japan, Italy, and the US. Conventional shipping methods proved impractical due to the sheer size of these components. Boeing's solution was to modify the 747-400 maintaining its original wingspan, but significantly enlarging its fuselage and tail. 4. Boeing Dreamlifters Instead of building new aircraft, Boeing converted 4747-400 passenger planes. These originated from Air China Malaysia Airlines and China Airlines, with modifications completed by Evergreen Aviation Technologies Corporation in Taiwan. The first Dreamlifter entered service in 2007, with the fourth following in 2010. Initially operated by Evergreen International Airlines, the fleet transitioned to Atlas Air in 2010 after Evergreen ceased operations. The Dreamlifter's Swing Tail Door One of the key differences between the Dreamlifter and Beluga XL is cargo access. Unlike the Beluga XL's nose-loading door, the Dreamlifter utilizes a swing tail door, an innovative but complex feature that required Boeing to develop a specialized 21-bolt locking mechanism. The hydraulically controlled door operated with ground support enhances accessibility but necessitated the removal of the aircraft's APU, requiring an external power source for engine startup. Loading the Dreamlifter involves a DBL, Dreamlifter Boeing Loader, a massive 35.96 meter long device built by TLD in France, which holds the Guinness World Record as the world's longest aircraft loader. Dreamlifters operate along a limited route network frequently flying between Boeing's Charleston facility, Anchorage, Chubu Centraire in Japan, Taranto Grotagli in Italy, and Wichita, Kansas. The Airbus Beluga XL Airbus introduced the Beluga XL in 2020 to transport a 350 components, particularly its wings. Unlike its predecessor, the original Beluga, which could only carry one wing at a time, the Beluga XL can transport two simultaneously. Airbus's history with transporter aircraft predates Boeing's, dating back to the Super Guppy in 1972, which was eventually replaced by the A300-600 ST Beluga in 1995 to accommodate A340 components. The Beluga XL is based on the A330. The Beluga XL is a heavily modified version of the A330-200, featuring a distinctive whale-like design. It incorporates the reinforced floor structure of the A330-200 freighter while combining elements from both the A330-200 and A330-300 fuselage. While its wingspan remains unchanged, the tail section is larger, with additional ventral fins for stability. The aircraft loads cargo via an upwards-opening hinged door at the front, 
allowing full access without interfering with avionics or flight controls. Six Beluga XL aircraft Airbus operates six Beluga XL aircraft, compared to Boeing's four Dreamlifters. The final Beluga XL entered service in July 2023, while the original Beluga fleet continues flying under a separate Airbus cargo airline, supporting third-party charters. Dreamlifter versus Beluga XL. The comparison. Both aircraft serve the crucial function of expediting aircraft production by reducing reliance on slower land and sea transport. Airbus has long utilized transport aircraft due to its decentralized European production network, while Boeing developed its solution more recently. Structurally, their biggest difference lies in cargo access. Boeing's swing tail versus Airbus's nose door. Which aircraft is bigger? Size isn't the sole determining factor in utility, but in terms of fuselage volume, the Beluga XL leads with 2,209 cubic meters, compared to the Dreamlifter's 1,840 cubic meters. The original Beluga follows at 1,500 cubic meters. However, the Dreamlifter is longer, measuring 71.68 meters, while the Beluga XL is 63.1 meters. The Boeing 747-8 surpasses both at 76.3 meters, and the upcoming Boeing 777-9 will extend even further to 76.7 meters. When it comes to payload, the Dreamlifter excels. Capable of carrying 113,400 kilograms, significantly more than the Beluga XL's 50,500 kilograms. For reference, the now-destroyed Antonov, and 225 held the record for heaviest payload at 250,000 kilograms, though it lacked the cargo volume of either aircraft. Airbus to close A300-600 ST Beluga airline. Just 14 months after gaining AOC Airbus recently announced the closure of Airbus Beluga transport, the airline created to operate the retired A300-600 ST Beluga fleet. Established as a charter service for oversized cargo transport, the airline secured an air operator's certificate in November 2023, but is now being shut down. All flights of the A300-600 ST fleet have been suspended. Airbus has yet to clarify the exact reason for terminating the business, but has stated that the closure process has begun. The company is prioritizing support for employees affected by the decision. Airbus had initially repurposed the Beluga fleet for third-party logistics, targeting industries requiring outsized cargo transport, including satellites, engines, and helicopters. However, the company has not disclosed whether another division will take over these services in the future. Despite this setback, Airbus Transport International continues operations with its Beluga XL fleet, ensuring the uninterrupted movement of large aircraft components for its own production network. Final thoughts. The Boeing Dreamlifter and Airbus Beluga XL are remarkable aircraft designed to solve the unique logistical challenges of modern aircraft manufacturing. Which one do you think is superior? Let us know in the comments.